Torero Stadium, the place to be today in San Diego. It is a gorgeous day under the sun. Loyal have been perfect here this season, but second place FC Tulsa is in town, unbeaten in their last three matches. We have a great one in store for you today. Today's match brought to you by Saquon Casino Resort. Inside the broadcast booth, I'm Jordan Carruth. Alongside me, Hall of Famer, World Cup champion, and Olympic gold medalist. She is Shannon McMillan. We'll see two teams today who are both enjoying very nice starts to the season. Yeah, great starts for both of them. We're going to see the battle of the third in the West taking on the second in the East with Tulsa rolling into town. Definitely going to be a high-powered scoring game. We've seen a lot of points from these two already. Last weekend, it, it gave us a little glimpse on how we got here. Loyal scored two second half goals in Phoenix. They rallied back and they came home with a point against Rising. And it's a game that Coach Nate thought for sure they could have come home with three points, but they're happy with the one point because they battled back and showed their resiliency. Bodily here finds an easy tap in for Nick Moon that built up from a great Colin Martin pass, slipping him in, and then Damoose. This is what he was brought here for. Spins off his defender. He tries to beat the keeper near post, but it's saved. It's bouncing around, and like a true goal scorer, he stays with it, gets a toe on it. Doesn't have to be pretty, but it does cross that line to seal the point for Loyal. Ronaldo Damus has made an immediate impact for San Diego this year. He scored in Phoenix. He scored at home in his debut as well. Two goals in three matches. Ronaldo Damus is our SDG&E player to watch. And he's an exciting player. He's late to join the Loyal squad, but he's already starting to find his groove. He leads Loyal with his two goals, as you mentioned. But he's a player that causes such chaos for other teams when he has that ball at his feet. On the other side for Tulsa, Rodrigo da Costa, first place all-time in goals and assists for the club, and he's already netted two goals this season. And he's such a special player for Tulsa. Coach Nate said he is one of the best attacking players in the entire league, so look for Tulsa, looking to find him all day long. We're expecting to see offense in this one. Here is today's starting 11. It is brought to you by Rady Children's Hospital. Shannon, a lot of experience in that SD lineup. Absolutely, and Loyal will stay in their 3-5-2. That looks like a 5-3-2 defensively. Coke Vegas off to such a strong start. Already two clean sheets. Martin, Moshevani, and Adams are going to look to just win that midfield battle while Bodily and Moon on the flanks are going to push up and try to combine with Conway and Demuse in the attack. And for FC Tulsa, here's their starting 11 brought to you by Rady Children's Hospital. And this is a very organized, organized and disciplined lineup for them. They're in a 4-2-3-1 that looks like a 4-5-1 almost with obviously DaCosta there. We mentioned him. He's going to combine with Dyer up top. Epps and Fernandez, they do push forward, but as we mentioned in the opening, Levi's, he is very strong defensively and alongside Bourgeois. Malou and Corrales, they're very organized back there. Today is the first time FC Tulsa will play in San Diego. They're on a very good run, but it's not easy coming to Torero Stadium and walking away with points. Whatever happens today, we are expecting to see some goals. Kickoff is coming up. Estimate the journey of a champion because most champions are seldom celebrated. Palomar Health, champions of healthcare, champions for you. yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. So 
Did you know that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care? A two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Back inside Torero Stadium, today's match brought to you by Saquon Casino and Resort. Loyal, Tulsa getting ready to kick off. Injury report brought to you by Synergy Orthopedics. Yeah, for San Diego Loyal, both Akon and Guido out with lower legs and Bromstead out for Tulsa. So just moments away now from kickoff, Torero Stadium is loud. There is an energy inside this building already. The locals, of course, in the house, but the stadium filling in quite nicely. A day game at Torero Stadium with the 2 o'clock kickoff. Going to deal with the sun a little bit. I guess it does change it a little bit. We're used to some night games here. Yeah, and look for the pitch to stay dry throughout the game. Usually in the night games, that second half, it's a little bit more slick out here. Obviously not going to have that issue with the beautiful day game right now. We are officially underway. FC Tulsa on the road, wearing white on white. San Diego at home with their Tory green on top with white shorts. San Diego, they have been perfect at home this year. This is a place they love playing. Already a win against Phoenix, as this one is taken away. And they started the season with a win against Detroit City. So two opportunities here at home this year. They've come away with all six points with the two wins. Yeah, obviously when you play at home, you have the ability to control the, the controllables. And that's what Loyal do. Obviously on the road, it's difficult. There's the travel, food, all that stuff you have to worry about. So you have to take care of business at home. There's something to be said for home field advantage, especially with the supporter groups that the Loyal have. San Diego starting at home early on. They did hit the road. They played Sacramento. Came up short, 1-0 in that one. And then the following weekend, went to Phoenix. Found themselves down 2-0 in the first half, but they did rally, scored two goals in the second half, did San Diego. And they left Phoenix with a 2-2 tie. So they did come home with the point. One point on the road out of a potential six, but after the, the nice start early on at home, it kind of, it provides a little bit of a cushion to drop a couple on the road. San Diego with possession. Adams will send it back to Vegas. Vegas has played every single minute in the regular season for SD Loyal. Duran Furry was in net earlier this week. San Diego Loyal played host to Albion in their open cup match. Came away with a 2-0 win. So they will advance. Charlie Adams sends it forward looking for Damus. Taken away. Da Costa. Damu's trying to track it down, but Whoa. it is cleared. Elijah Martin gets his left foot on it, sends it forward. And it rolls out. <laughs> Mentioned the impact that Ronaldo Damus has had on San Diego early on. Already two goals in his three matches. I, I think he's still waiting for that first no doubter goal, one where he kind of just almost breaks the net with the shot. Yeah, and he's just finding his groove. As we mentioned, he started a little bit late with Loyal. Moon looking for Damus. It's poked away. Now Adams with a little bit of room. Near side, San Diego's shot blocked. Good opportunity early on for San Diego. And that's a beautiful save by Nelson, the goalkeeper for Tulsa. He came out, he stayed big, didn't give Bodily much look at the net. Takes it off his chest for his team. Bodily with the shot already has one goal and one assist this year. Charlie Adams goes down with an injury. Let's get to the keys to the game. They're brought to you by the San Diego County Toyota dealers. What are you paying attention to today, Shannon? Yeah, and for Loyal, it's can they contain DaCosta? He is such a special player, a true number 10. He leads the team with two goals, eight chances on goal. And can they exploit the space between the lines? Joseph and Epps are known to push forward and not get back as quickly as needed defensively. So can Loyal exploit that? And if you're Tulsa, stay organized defensively. Get those wingbacks back and stay hot in the final third. They're tied for the league lead with eight goals four currently. So they want to find that goal early and stay hot. Yeah, these are two teams that have done a good job of scoring goals early on in the year. I think San Diego, you can say, they've done a better job defensively than FC Tulsa, but these are two good teams offensively early on. We are expected to see some goals in this one. It might come early 
as Charlie Adams sends it in to Kyle Adams. It's hit straight into the air back to Kyle Adams. And now it's Elijah Martin with possession. Now bodily. There's to an emotional bond. Playing a little bit deeper than we normally see him. Yeah, he still has to find his way back up. They're coming off of that set piece. They put the height of Kyle Adams up top, so Moshe Bon and Bodily drop back more defensively, but they'll find their way back up the field as Kyle Adams now recovered. Moshe Bon gradually will find his way back up offensively. He's kind of gradually trying to find his way when it comes to goals this year. There are a few players with SD Loyal where you might be a little surprised they haven't mm -hmm. scored yet. I think Toomey is definitely one of those players on that list. Yeah, when Toomey gets the hot foot, he, he gets hot. And the great thing is he's a player that if he's not scoring, he's still doing so much to bring value to this team, creating chances offensively for teammates. Don Moose, Conway, now Bodily into the box. Bodily centers it, and it's cleared. That was a great one, too. FC Tulsa scrambling to get back. San Diego back with it. Bodily sends it in, cleared once again. Bodily actually had two wide open teammates on that back post, just not able to clear that central defensive position there. Otherwise, it could have been an easy tap in. There's Bodily again. He's been very active early on in this one as it rolls out for a goal kick. Select the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship in many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit www.selectsportamerica.com for the latest select product specials and more. Select the player's choice. Loyal have enjoyed more of the possession here in the opening six minutes. A couple of opportunities as FC Tulsa on the other side really tries to settle into this one early on. Absolutely, Loyal definitely have the momentum. What they need now is to get a goal to reward themselves for the press and the way they're picking the ball off and attacking in that final third. Because the game will shift, momentum will go back and forth, and you've got to take care of the, take advantage of the opportunities when you get them. Bod Bodily's already had two great looks. Based on what we've seen so far, Bodily might be very active for the full 90 minutes today. It's also with possession, trying to hold on to it. Colin Martin is applying pressure, almost was able to come away with it, but now FC Tulsa will cross the mid. DaCosta sends it forward. Elijah Martin trying to get back on defense. Centered, and luckily for SD, no one is on the other side for Tulsa. That's our first good look at DaCosta. Lovely through ball there. He actually plays it blindsides. Elijah Martin forces him to run facing his goal. Plays Yosef in with a beautiful cross there, but fortunately for Loyal, Tulsa didn't have anyone on the end of that. See here, just a great through ball. Elijah recovering, but Yosef right across the six yard box, which is where you want to put it. Dyer just unable to get a foot on it. No one on that back post for Tulsa. Replays are brought to you by IBEW 569 at the Electricians Union into the eighth minute from Torero Stadium. Scoreless in the first ever matchup between these two teams in San Diego. These two faced off last year in Tulsa. San Diego came up short 1-0. Here's Mosho Bon on the outside looking for space. He has it. Into the box he goes. Centers. Conway was there, but beyond his reach. And it goes out. Another good look for Loyal, but it's that final pass that's lacking right now. Moshe Bon actually drives this across. He had Nick Moon for the cutback. You'll see here Moon's calling for it. He's driving in line, but he just puts a little too much power on that. There's nothing Bodily could have done. So just lacking that finesse on that final pass right now for Loyal. Nothing to show for it quite yet, but San Diego has been very active in the final third here in the opening nine minutes of the match. But you've got to punish teams when you have those opportunities. Punish them early. There's Moshe Bon. Elijah Martin sends it back to Vegas. As we were getting ready for the season, talking to all the players about the pronunciations of their name, we're talking to Sumi Moshe Bon, and he's telling us. It's Mosho Bon, not Mosho Bonnie. 
The first couple of years went by Mo Shobani, as you heard here on the broadcast. It took but, him four years to correct us. But did tell us eventually that it's actually Tumi Moshoban. So if you hear a little bit of a difference today, that's what that difference is. Here's Charlie Adams to Colin Martin. Stoneman finds Adams. Locals sounding good under the sun today. Pow goes against Colin Martin. So they got to be pretty happy with their start to the year. Brand new head coach. They're seeing goals go in. They're seeing results. Currently second place out east. A lot of change in the offseason, but they kind of have to be enjoying the results that they've seen so far. They're off to a great start, sitting second in the east right now. Huge points on the road for them out here potentially today to keep pace with Birmingham. They have uh, three players on their roster who have already scored more than one goal this year, multiple goals for three different players. Only two teams in the entire league can say that. Tulsa one of them, Sacramento the other. Trying to switch sides, but San Diego will come away with it. Here's Elijah Martin. Finds Mosho Bon. Moon to Mosho Bon. Also, they're pushing high defensively, trying to replicate what Loyal have done and pick that ball off in their attacking third, which means there's lots of space behind that line if Loyal can get possession and break the line. Adams gets ahead to it. Got it to Conway, back to Adams, now Dom Moose. Bodily making a run, Conway towards the box as well, Dom Moose. And Moon goes down. And a foul against Tulsa. Great opportunity coming up, and it may be a yellow. We'll see. It looks like he'll keep the card in his pocket. What I like about this, though, is Ronaldo. He sees bodily. He uses the run as a fake. He finds Moon coming across. And Levi's, who was actually slipped, fought to get back up, and does clip Moon. And as you can tell by the crowd, Little shocked that there's not a yellow card for that one. It was a reaction inside Torero Stadium once it became pretty clear that no card was coming out. That replay brought to you by IBEW 569, the electrician's union. But a great run by Bodily to stretch, make the defender freeze a little bit, which gives Damus the time to cut it inside and try to change the point of attack. Charlie Adams with his left foot. He's going to be looked to bend this in the near post. Well within his striking distance from here. Pretty easy choice for Nate Miller going with Charlie Adams here. With that left foot, absolutely. Adams looking to give San Diego an early lead. And does exactly what Shannon was just pointing out, but it misses just wide. And you see Nelson didn't really make much effort to that. If Charlie just hit that a yard to the left, that would have found the upper post, upper corner there. But a really good strike. Just tries to place it in, but too far. Nelson was uninterested there. Must have thought it was well out. You can buy the newest SD Loyal gear, including kits, the Charlie collection, and some unique designs you can't find anywhere else at the shop. Shop online today at theshop.sdloyal.com or visit the shop in Mission Valley. Lake Bodily has possession for San Diego on the near side. A lovely ball from Charlie Adams. He faked it like he was going to go to his feet, which made Epps bite, and he was able to play Bodily into space. 
That should be on all day. Tulsa's ball. San Diego looking for Damus. Chauvin. And Damus. He has Conway to his right, Moshoban to his left. Damus will go down the middle, and it's taken away. Close to breaking through there, Damus was, but that's what makes him special. He picks up the ball, splits two defenders, almost gets by Fernandez. That's what you want out of your nine, your top front runners. Take on and try to create something out of nothing. We have played 15 minutes. We are scoreless. Epps with possession. Tulsa with space into the box. And the shot will go over the bar and into the stands. And that's just well defended by Loyal. Kyle Adams holds him up. Bodily doubles back, cuts his angle, forces a shot over the bar. Good move by Moon. Finds Conway to his right. Conway in and out of the box. Finds Bodily. Get Adams at the top. Now it's Kyle Adams. If FC Tulsa are to come on the road and lead with all three points from San Diego, you have a feeling you're going to rely on a lot from DaCosta. He's going to have to be a difference maker for them today. Absolutely. Loyal are going to be well aware of him in the midfield and try to limit his touches. He's going to have to stay patient and keep hunting the ball because players like DaCosta, they just need one, two looks, and they can hurt you. Most goals on the team, most assists on the team. Those are all time records for DaCosta. He has the most crosses in the league this year, and he's also created the second most chances of any other player in the league. So he has been an impactful player. He also is, uh, if he gets to the 59th minute mark today, he will reach 10,000 minutes in USL, which is pretty impressive. That's very so assuming impressive. he does play that hour here to start the match, he, he will get to that 10,000 minute mark in his career. And I'd be surprised if he doesn't, and all those stats just speak to the success and the points, and. The fact that Tulsa are sitting in second place now, it's because of him. He's played a major role in it, no question about it. Here's Stoneman, finds Moshe Oban to the right side. Bodily has been active, he heads it forward, finds Charlie Adams, a good ball, centers it, and it's defended well. Damus and Conway were both in the box, but not in the line of that pass, and now Tulsa DaCosta, we were just talking about him. DaCosta with his left foot. Comes away with nothing. And thanks to Elijah Martin, just kept his feet moving. DaCosta, you could tell he might have tweaked something here, but Elijah Martin, a great recovery run, comes from all the way on the right side. And just keeps his feet moving, doesn't give DaCosta much. And it just... Kind of a miss hit there. And he was on the wrong end of that deflection, it looked like initially. Yeah, that's just really well defended by Elijah Martin. Stand the player up, allow your team to get around, I'll let you, allow your keeper to cut the angle. Well done by Elijah Martin. So some afternoon coffee for DaCosta there. Wakes him up. We are scoreless into the 19th minute now from Torero Stadium. Gorgeous day in San Diego. I'm not saying we deserve amazing weather in San Diego, but we're kind of used to it. I I'm really glad the sun is out. It's starting to warm up once again. It's feeling like soccer season. Absolutely. It's a beautiful day for soccer. Here's Epps. There's that 5-3-2 we talked about in the open. Defensively, the wingbacks, Moon and Bodily, slide back. And they just slide across and limit the passing channels for Tulsa. 
Tulsa's best chances early on have kind of come from the counter. Yeah, and that long through ball. They look to build. Colin Martin almost coming away with it, and instead he's going to get a foul called against him. Kind of unlucky there for Colin Martin. Levi's looked like he was already kind of going to ground when Colin Martin tried to step around him to pick that one off. After the mistouch there. Yeah, not much to that, but I think the ref's gonna give that to the attacker nine times out of 10. Replay brought to you by IBEW 569. Costa had the initial touch. And not exactly how FC Tulsa drew it up. Yeah, that was uh, something they practiced on the training ground that just didn't quite come together there. By playing it into Ferry's feet, they're hoping Loyal will shift a little bit, but that through ball from Ferry the first time, a little too strong. Single match tickets are on sale now. Tickets start at just $15, including the next home match at Torero Stadium on Saturday, April 23rd, 3 p.m. against Tampa Bay Rowdies. Visit sdloyal.com slash tickets for more information. Both teams that we see today actually had to play during the week in the Open Cup. SD Loyal taking on San Diego's Albion. It was the second year in a row that those two clubs faced off early on in the Open Cup. And for the second year in a row, it's SD Loyal getting the win and advancing. And for the second consecutive season, they'll now get ready to take on an MLS side in the next round of the Open Cup. And what was exciting for Loyal is they played some young players. You saw someone like Xavi Nolati who stepped up and probably the best game of his career in a Loyal jersey, earns himself a spot on the 18 tonight. Duran Faree, his first professional shutout, and it lets you rest some of your starters. Whereas for Tulsa, we know Epps got a bit of a rest, but then they have the travels. Those midweek games are hard enough if you don't have the depth and obviously add in the travel too. A little bit tougher for Tulsa. Duran Faree did more than just hold his own this week at San Diego State. Did really well, and it's a moment where I don't think San Diego Loyal will really be hesitant in those moments to put him out there. He's played in some major matches with the U.S. men's national team as we, we take another look at the most recent play. Yeah, and Bodily with a great little spin touch there as he's turning up field and Ferry trying to recover. Little collision, but again, that will go to the offense each and every time. Grand Free most recently playing with the under 17s with U.S. soccer in some big time matches. And so you're gonna feel very comfortable trotting him out there at SDSU in an open cut match and he looked great. And he's also on the bench today, just in case. And it speaks to the quality of Matt Hall, the goalkeeper and coach, as well as Loyal Select, the academy team. He came through the program. Moon looking for Conway, but Tulsa able to just get a touch on it and send it out, corner coming up. It's a really nice ball by Moon. The tough part about that is when you zing that across the back line, the defenders are facing their own goal. That easily can be go touched in for an own goal. Beautiful work by Colin Martin there. Great initial move. Yeah, Moshe Bond's gonna find Moon. And you see the pace of this ball, it's behind. It forces Tulsa to face their own goal. That's so difficult to defend. This corner kick presented by San Diego Community Power. Loyal looking for the opening goal. We're into the 24th minute from Torero Stadium. Charlie Adams in the corner, getting ready to use his left. Whips it in. Elijah Martin wide to the right. That's when Loyal struggle on their corners when they can't get that initial service past the near post or a player there to flick it on. Fortunately, it does roll out and set up to Elijah, but he sails that one. You see there, no one there and Tory Green. Not the ideal clearance your clearance you're looking for from FC Tulsa either. It is a touch, you're able to get a foot to it, but you wanna 
You want to do a little bit more than that. Absolutely. And thankful that Elijah didn't get a clean look at that, but Charlie Adams got to get that at least past the near post and give his teammates a chance to fight for that. Loyal pushing forward, looking for an opening goal. They've had their chances early on. But this is one of those matches where it seems like the first goal will be very impactful, whether it's San Diego's goal getting comfortable at home or whether it's FC Tulsa finding the back of the net on the road and starting to think, hey, we can, we can come away with all three today. So the first one clearly will be impactful. We just don't know which way it's going to go quite yet. Here's DaCosta. Epps. Sent in for DaCosta. He was able to get a small touch to it, but not nearly enough, not able to redirect it. But that's what makes him special. Most players, you know, that reach, they're just going to let that go by. He still tries to make something out of nothing. A great diagonal run there. Thankfully, well defended, and he's not able to get a clean touch on that and challenge Coke Vegas. Charlie Adams switches sides. And going down, a penalty for San Diego. A lot of contact on Nick Moon. He goes down. And San Diego will go to the spot with a chance to take the lead. What a smart heads up play by Nick Moon. A beautiful driven diagonal ball by Charlie Adams. Nick Moon's going to take this off his chest into the box and draw that contact there by Levi's and goes down when he pulls on him. That's a great, great penalty kick created by Nick Moon with the flash of brilliance taking that off his chest. Well, we just saw Charlie Adams take the free kick beyond the box. Similar question and answer is the same. This is exactly who you want at the spot for SD Loyal. Can Charlie Adams give San Diego the lead in the 27th minute? After Nick Moon went down in the box, Adams goes off the crossbar. It's still alive. And Tulsa will clear it away. So a massive moment early on. Adams goes off the bar with the penalty kick. And the captain wearing the armband today. Call me old school. You need to just bury those. Try to get a little too cheeky, expecting Nelson to move. Tries to chip him. You got to step up, put something behind that, especially when your team's been battling like this. Charlie Adams has been working himself back into game action. Has put himself in a spot to get that armband right back. And he did. And unfortunately, put we've seen him score plenty of penalties. This is this is one that obviously he goes off the bar instead. Yeah, and on Wednesday night in the Open Cup against Albion, he buried a penalty kick. Not sure what he saw or thought there, but. It's a tough blow for Loyal. They've got to maintain their composure now and their patience. That's something you don't want to come back to haunt you by the end of the game, having left a goal out there. Adams. Kyle Adams has had a busy couple of months playing internationally and doing the travel with SD Loyal. And a foul. Go back to that PK. Charlie Adams missing the target. And he looks like he's going to drive it, but then he tries to chip him down the middle like that. You saw that. I don't know if that's indecision on the end there. 
He would have been better off to open up and side foot it with the inside of his left if he saw Nelson go early. Moon, Conway, sets up Moshe Oban who creates space. Martin was looking for Charlie Adams. It goes over his head. San Diego will keep possession. Another good threat from Loyal. But still looking to finish one of these off for a goal. So go all the way down to Elijah Martin. in over the head of Conway it's bodily looking for Damus headed away and it goes out and that's okay Colin Martin's actually trying to find Elijah but doesn't have many options there so actually allows Loyal to get back catch their breath and defend off a of throw in down so we've played half an hour. San Diego, they've enjoyed most of the possession, more chances, but FC Tulsa, they've clearly had their opportunities as well. Mostly on the counter, we've seen DaCosta create a few, as, a few moments that have been close. And then obviously the biggest moment so far in the opening 30 minutes is that penalty kick from Charlie Adams going off the crossbar. That's the difference so far, 30 minutes in but no difference on the scoreboard, still scoreless. That's why soccer can be a crazy game. Loyal have had the momentum for this first half hour, but they've got to keep plugging away to find that goal. They can't get frustrated with themselves or each other. And Tulsa, they're going to keep absorbing this pressure and look to break. I think for them, they can hold it a little bit more when they do get it offensively and try to create something. Here's Bodily. Whips it in, Damus. And Loyal will come away with nothing. Yeah, handball there by Damus, but you see what's special about him. He's beautiful bending ball in. Tries to make something out of that, just unfortunately bounces up and hits his hand. SD Loyal's 2023 Charlie football home, away, and goalkeeper kits are on sale now. You can visit the shop.sdloyal.com to get yours today. Beautiful shot of San Diego. We're on the campus of the University of San Diego. SD Loyal, we're playing at the campus of San Diego State earlier this week for the Open Cup. Now back home at Torero Stadium, where Nate Miller, the new head coach this year for Loyal, looking to stay perfect at home. Seen a few new head coaches this year in the league. The two teams today represented. Coach Miller, officially year number one as the head coach. And Blair Gavin, the head coach for Tulsa. He was actually named the head coach last August, but he wasn't officially, he didn't officially become the head coach until the season started here in 2023. Two clubs who are off to nice starts to the year, both with new head coaches. Moshe Oban, great footwork and another fancy move. Try to make it three in a row, but Tulsa eventually able to take it away. Here's Epps. box but cleared moon was there Tom moose in a fight for it Good work from moon 
And now the foul will go against Moon. He was in a battle for it. And the crowd does not like it. Seen a lot of fouls early on in this one. Yeah, and you see here, Nick Moon, he's just doing well. He, he's going to slide in here, wins the ball, forces him backwards a bit. And there he, a little bit of a dive. Nick Moon does touch him on the back as he's sliding, but uh, Yosef made a bit of a meal out of that one. I think referee saw the flip and assumed there had to be something more to that. But now it gives Tulsa a really dangerous opportunity here. Yeah, and what FC Tulsa wants more than anything is to score the first goal of the match. Here's an opportunity to do just that. Whipped in. Another opportunity. And cleared. It looked like Stoneman was able to get a foot to it. Now Ronaldo looking to track it down. He does, and he finds Martin. Calling Martin to Elijah Martin. And another foul. This time against Colin Martin. Yeah, DaCosta there calling for a yellow card. This one is more of a clean cut foul. Yeah, Yosef does well to play that first time knowing Colin Martin's closing him down so quickly. And ball's long gone before Colin Martin actually makes contact. We're yet to see a card out here. It's got to be coming soon. And Vegas is there. It was a little tricky towards the end. Yeah, there is a bit of a breeze there, and that ball was spinning. It's a really nice service because it was far deep on that back post, forcing Loyal to turn and face their goal. And Bourgeois gets his head on it. Koke not wanting to mess with it safely, just taps it over for a corner kick for Tulsa. And his corner kick presented by San Diego Community Power. Whipped in low and headed away by Elijah Martin. Good work there from Elijah. Back into the box, headed in. Vegas gets his right hand to it and saves it. What a save from Koke Vegas. The biggest one yet. And another whistle against San Diego. Things are starting to pick up here right before halftime. Getting a little chippy, but this is what Coke Vegas has done all season long. DaCosta keeps it alive, spins that ball in, a great header. Dive into his right, parries it out. Nick Moon's able to slide, get that ball out of the box. Great reactionary save by Coke Vegas. We've seen that from him often already this season. He's, He's been one of the best keepers in the league to start the year. Absolutely, top form. He's been very good, and they're going to challenge him once again. Free kick coming up for Tulsa. DaCosta is there. Look for DaCosta to take this. He is so dangerous on set pieces. It will be DaCosta, and it hits the wall. And Moshe Oban clears. Great job by that loyal wall. A little bit of a jump, absorb that. You can join us at Torero Stadium on Saturday, April 23rd, 3 p.m. for SD Loyal's next home match. The club will take on Eastern Conference's Tampa Bay Rowdies. Tickets start at just $15. They're on sale now. To purchase, visit sdloyal.com slash tickets or call 858-465-GOAL. Loyal's next home match against Tampa Bay. After that, They'll hit the road, go to Seattle, take on the Sounders in the Open Cup. It's going to be a busy week.
Offsides there on Tulsa, but we talk about the ebbs and flows of the game. The momentum starting to shift in favor of Tulsa. Loyal have to slow this game back down, get back to their game plan, possess, find the space in between lines. The 40th regroup. minute is presented by Saquon. Happy 40th anniversary to Saquon Casino Resort, the official casino partner of San Diego Loyal. Celebrate all year at Saquon with promotions, entertainment, and special events. Visit Saquon.com for more details. When you're looking at SD Loyal's roster, one thing that always stands out is the experience that they have, and it's definitely on purpose. Here's Ronaldo Damus. Looking for Conway. Conway with some space, able to fire off a shot somehow, but it is off target. Wasn't the easiest of looks for Conway, but he was able to get a foot to it. But how about that ball from Damus? He's actually going to ground outside of his right foot, is able to play that in. Conway actually had Moshe Bon and Moon on the back side, but his little shimmy, he faked at that side, somehow got a lot of power on that shot as he's going to ground. But that's a good response to Loyal since Tulsa's kind of taken over a bit of the momentum. Yeah, just looking at their list, SD Loyal's list for most appearances in club history. Now, it's a club that it only goes back to 2020, but most appearances, Elijah Martin, top of the list, Tumi Moshoban after that, Charlie Adams, Colin Martin, Grant Stoneman. That's your top five. All five of those players starting today. And those five players have the most appearances in club history. So it's a team, every time they go in, there's that experience, there's that understanding, and it's, like we mentioned, it's definitely on purpose. Well, the chemistry plays such an important role, and we're starting to see that in the front five, the way they're playing off each other and playing balls into space versus feet, and it's something that Loyola are proud of. They've been building over the last three years, had the most returning players in the league, and that's because they believe in where they're going and what they're building. Some of the new guys have made a pretty good impact as well. Evan Conway, not a player that started in 2020, but it's a player that's been here in San Diego for a few years now. He's already fourth all time in scoring for SD Loyal. He has 10 career goals. He's someone who is quickly climbing the charts. And he's someone who asked for the number nine jersey. He wants to wear that jersey and be the true number nine for Loyal. So you've got to love that confidence in Conway. There's Kyle Adams. In Loyal's first home game of the year, they beat Detroit City 1-0. In their second home match, that one was against Phoenix Rising. They scored three goals in the win, did not allow a goal. So they have yet to concede at home this year. And if not for that Koke Vegas save a couple minutes ago, I think that would have changed. Well, Koke's done that in each and every game too. So kudos to him, kudos to that back line for being organized and limiting chances of the opponents. Those were not easy, clean sheets. Koke earned them. If you're looking for flexibility and a great deal on SD Loyal tickets, select four or more home matches of your choice for the 2023 season, and you can enjoy exclusive benefits. Visit sdloyal.com slash tickets. Lock in your flex plan today. Kyle Adams off to Elijah Martin. It's been a fun year for Kyle Adams. He's been doing his thing here in San Diego with Loyal. And then what he's been able to do most recently internationally with New Zealand. He's got his first international cap. Without a doubt, first of many. It's a big moment for him. It's an incredible moment, incredible honor. Whenever you can put that crest of your country on your chest, something that I know he relished and worked hard for and earned. So playing with New Zealand, now back in San Diego. Zooming the season with SD Loyal. And here he is, Kyle Adams. Finds Charlie Adams. Here's Bodily. Loyal were asking a lot of Bodily early on. That opening 10 minutes was the Blake Bodily show. And a misplay in the box. This could be dangerous. Dom Moose tries to turn and fire, but he goes wide. And the difference here is Yosef and Epps are doing the work defensively. They're... When it comes 
to our family, we all have our own flavor and expression. At Tequila de Corralejo, we believe sharing our individuality is what makes gathering together so fun. Here's to those who stand tall and share their passion. Into the final minute before halftime at Torero Stadium. Beautiful day game in San Diego, packed stadium. The locals, vocal as ever. Day games at Torero Stadium. It is a different vibe than the night games underneath the lights. It is a sea of Tory green and orange at Torero today. SD Loyal introducing the orange kits for their away kits this year. I guess reintroducing is the best way to say that after a year away from the orange on the road. But you see pockets of orange, pockets of Tory green, and pockets of the white kits as well. It looks like it is uh, early spring at Torero Stadium with all the colors inside looking good, but we're still looking for that first goal. Loyal were close. Charlie Adams missed his penalty kick. Moon, now Martin, back to Stoneman. One minute of added time. Here's Moon, finds Conway. Conway looking for Bodily. Moon almost able to get there. Bodily almost took it away as well. Moshe Oban did take it away. Charlie Adams gets a foot to it. Down goes Colin Martin and a foul against FC Tulsa. This could change things right before the break. And that's Colin Martin using his experience. He knows the ball's bouncing around. He's not going to be able to get a clean shot off. See a little misclear here. And as it's bouncing up right here, pops out. Colin just gets his body in, absorbs the pressure there from Epps, takes the foul because he knows he's not able to get a shot off. That is just smart, experienced play by Colin Martin. Give his team the last look on goal before the half. You don't want to miss a minute of the action in 2023, whether your club is on the road or at home. You can catch nearly every second of USL Championship action on ESPN+, Plus, the home of USL. So Charlie Adams looking to change things right before the break. Free kick right outside the box. Adams hits the wall. We'll get another look at it. But Tulsa is there, Mosho Bon. Back inside looking for Dom Moose and Moon. It gets away from Moon and there are the whistles. We go to halftime. Scoreless between San Diego and Tulsa. Pretty interesting opening couple of minutes there. The opening 45, Charlie Adams, a big part of the story. Yeah, and it's Loyal should technically be up at least one goal, but Tulsa adjusted. They got their wide backs, Yosef and Epps, to do the work defensively. Stifled a little bit of the Loyal momentum. Loyal are going to have to regroup and figure out how to now find that space. Scoreless at the half between San Diego and Tulsa. When we come back to Torero Stadium, we'll bring you the Blue Peak Credit Union halftime show. A lot to get to. We'll get to the hero of the match. We'll also get you ready for the second half kickoff between Loyal and Tulsa from Torero Stadium. We're scoreless, and we're back after this. Adventure awaits. USC Credit Union is now Blue Peak. From buying your first home to booking that bucket list trip, we're saving for your golden years. Blue Peak is here to support all of your life adventures, and we've been doing it for more than 85 years. Today, we are proud to serve broad and diverse communities and deliver the personalized service you deserve. So go ahead, blaze your own trail, and become a Blue Peak member today. Visit us online at bluepeak.com. The thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that we've always stood up for what's right. The Ring Clown was the first tribe to have gaming, so it's really evolved into something that benefits everyone. Our people benefited, we're up out of poverty. The local surrounding communities have benefited, they get additional services that we never had. When you have the opportunity to give back and help, you should step up. It's a responsibility 
to help others like we were helped. We were given a chance, we're paying back. This is why these kids, these happy, healthy kids, they're the reason Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego was the first in the world to use ultra rapid whole genome sequencing to diagnose and begin precise treatment for a critically ill baby in just 13 hours, taking a family from desperation to treatment. Because at Rady Children's, your kids always come first. Well, an absolutely beautiful day in San Diego. The sun is out, the waves look gorgeous, and we are at halftime from Torero Stadium. It is time now for today's hero of the match, Operations Specialist Chief Petty Officer Benjamin Foreman, United States Navy, originally from Soderstown, Rhode Island. Chief Petty Officer Foreman enlisted in June of 2006. His past assignments include USS Mobile Bay, USS Kurtz, USS Russell, and USS Oakland and he has completed deployments in the Western and Southern Pacific Ocean. He is currently assigned to Fleet Area Control and Surveillance Facility, San Diego. Benjamin Foreman, also a massive Tottenham supporter. We'll be back after this. The Blue Key, the Blue Key Credit Union Halftime Show continues after this. We all have goals. But let's be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Welcome back. We're going to look around some news and notes with the USL Championship now. It's been a very busy week, Shannon. Some U.S. Open Cup matches midweek. Both San Diego and Tulsa were playing earlier this week. 
Yeah, and 20 out of the 24 teams advanced to the third round, one of those being San Diego Loyal. And with the USL schedule being as long as it is, the US Open Cup highlights the need and necessity to have the depth and the health of a roster and a coach that can manage their load. Yeah, and we did see some starting changes from earlier this week to today. So SD Loyal uh, trotting out a little bit something different from what we saw starting earlier, but they will advance. They drew Seattle, the Sounders coming up a little bit later on. Uh, Ronaldo Damus has been very good for SD Loyal. It looked like he potentially could have been on the team of the week. He was not, but we do see at least one player who was honored. We'll see today. Yeah, for Tulsa Levice, the left back, he is so solid defensively, stays organized, helps just squash attacks of the opponents. Look for him to be busy tonight with the versatility of the loyal attack. Yeah, we mentioned the Open Cup a little bit earlier. They were eliminated, Tulsa eliminated with their loss, so they are done. San Diego still preparing. They're going to play a little bit later on this month when they travel to Seattle to take on the Sounders. So it has been a busy week for San Diego, the second match today, and it's not the only one going on in the USL Championship. It has been busy, Louisville and Detroit today as well, but we do have some other finals to look at. Yeah, scores from last week, a lot of interleague play that has, it's still early in the season. You don't want to put too much weight on these results, but when you can get points early enough in the season, bolster potentially a lead allows when you have the little bit of struggles throughout the season with it being such a long season. So Sac Republic looking good. They um, will now have San Antonio tonight. That's the battle of one and two in the Western Conference. And Birmingham Legion and Phoenix Rising. Phoenix Rising is a team that better than what the stats and standings show right now. So that look for that as they take on the first place in the East Coast, Birmingham Legion to be a really good battle. If you want to circle three teams out West that really have stood out early on in the season, I think you can circle San Diego, San Antonio, and Sacramento. San Diego clearly in action at halftime today. San Antonio and Sacramento going on a little bit later. San Antonio, the host team for that. But some great action. Phoenix looking to bounce back as well. Orange County in action against El Paso. That one goes a little bit later on tonight on ESPN. Plus. We're going to get to highlights and stats from that first half. The Blue Peak Halftime Show continues next. This is why these kids, these happy, healthy kids. They're the reason Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego was the first in the world to use ultra-rapid whole genome sequencing to diagnose and begin precise treatment for a critically ill baby in just 13 hours, taking a family from desperation to treatment. Because at Rady Children's, your kids always come first. always stood up for its right. The Ring Clown was the first tribe to have gaming. So it's really evolved into something that benefits everyone. Our people benefited, we're up out of poverty. The local surrounding communities have benefited. They get additional services that we never had. When you have the opportunity to give back and help, you should step up. It's a responsibility to help others like we were helped. We were given a chance, we're paying back. Adventure awaits. USC Credit Union is now Blue Peak. From buying your first home to booking that bucket list trip, we're saving for your golden years. Blue Peak is here to support all of your life adventures, and we've been doing it for more than 85 years. Today, we are proud to serve broad and diverse communities and deliver the personalized service you deserve. So go ahead, blaze your own trail, and become a Blue Peak member today. Visit us online at bluepeak.com. 
Today we have a multi-purpose court here at Lincoln Acres Park, which is one of the communities that's very underserved in San Diego County. So I'm super grateful to San Diego Loyal for their support, their commitment, for the players being here today so that we can make sure that our people in this district and this community have access to this field. It's just, I think it's thrilling. I think it's amazing. And this is exactly what we need, we need to be doing for our communities. A lot of our supporters play futsal and play down at Chicano Park. So this came to fruition. I reached out to Kyle Martino, who's a friend, and just said, tell me more about your Over Under initiative and how do we bring it to San Diego. He in turn texted me right back and said, I'm putting you in touch with my executive director. Really, we're here because Shannon McMillan is uh, as much of a badass, I don't know if I can say that, but as much of a badass off the field as she was on the field. We just started picking up phones, emails, bugging anyone that would listen, and I think Nakers Park County stepped up and really embraced the project and helped us get through a lot of the red tape quick. Our county team worked with San Diego Loyal and other uh, great partners to make sure that this could be executed and it was executed in less than 19 months, which is not really something that we see in government. And so I think it demonstrates the county's commitment to ensuring that our communities have uh, public spaces that our kids can play in. We're hoping now that this is in and growing access to the game is going to help us create momentum to open more of these in parks around the community. We talked about this two years ago and she said, I want to make it happen in San Diego. It means a lot to me and San Diego Loyal stepped up and just demonstrated what it means to be a team that cares about its community and now we have a game that's going to be going on where there wasn't a game before and hopefully that's the beginning of many of these. Bridge Marcotta started playing under a bridge because we needed a space to play and be able to like put our own goals there. There wasn't really places around San Diego where you can go to a court and play soccer because people were playing basketball or there just weren't goals. So this is a long way from there where we actually have goals on courts that hopefully will increase the use and give people different opportunities to play whatever they want and of course more soccer in San Diego. Welcome into the Blue Peak Credit Union Halftime Show. Scoreless from Torero Stadium as we look back to the opening 45 minutes, what we saw here. A scoreless match, no goals to talk about, Shannon, but plenty of action in that opening 45. We saw a San Diego team that enjoyed most of the possession as we look back at the highlights there presented by the Rincon Tribe. Yeah, and right there, Nick Moon finding Damoose. It's bouncing around in the box. Blake Bodily. Nice chance on goal there, but as we mentioned, Nelson comes out so big, he stays upright, doesn't give him any angle, and makes a great save off his chest. Bodily very active in that opening 10, 15 minute stretch of the game. And this is a huge moment. It's a huge moment, a great play by Nick Moon. Creates that penalty kick there, taking the ball off his chest into the box, but Charlie Adams, I think he sees the keeper move. And that's the way he wanted to go, but he would have been better to just inside of his left foot, push it to his left, off the crossbar. We stay 0-0. Zero, zero. It like was a big moment, Charlie Adams. It's the first time he's missed a penalty kick in his loyal career. And we go to the 37th minute here, Tulsa with an opportunity. Yeah, and you don't put that away. Tulsa has some life, and it's the Coke Vegas show. Great reactionary save right there. DaCosta keeps it alive. Koke parries it out, Nick Moon slides and clears it out of the box. Great save when needed there by Koke Vegas. No goals to talk about, plenty of shots from SD Loyal. Tulsa with four as well, each side with a shot on target. And we mentioned the possession. It's favoring San Diego, 59% pretty good. We've, we've seen a few fouls as well. It got a little physical there at, for stretches in the first half. Yeah, no cards yet. And I think if you're Tulsa, you're happy with the result right now because you were under pressure, you had opportunities against you that you would, you know, kept the clean slate, you adjusted. Yosef and Epps put the work in defensively to kind of stifle Moon and Bodily out wide. So if you're Tulsa, I think you're pumped up with where you're at right now. And if you're loyal, a little bit of frustration that now needs to be channeled into finding that goal, preferably early and get Tulsa on their heels a bit. Looking back at that opening 45, the Blue Peak Credit Union Halftime Show. Now back on the field at Torero Stadium, SD Loyal 
They're ready to roll. FC Tulsa out here as well. They're huddled up as we're moments away from kicking off the second half. We're still waiting for that first goal. We talked about it in the opening 45 minutes, Shannon. Clearly, FC Tulsa wants to come in as the road team. They want to capture that opening goal and try to hold on to that lead. Yeah, I think Tulsa, they'd be happy to leave with a point right now with the way that first half went. But knowing they're still in this game and knowing the firepower they have up top, they definitely are going to look to steal all three. It is the first ever meeting between these two clubs in San Diego. They did play in Tulsa last year. Tulsa won 1-0. Dario Suarez scored in that one. And that was the difference in 2022. We'll see how the 2023 chapter is written. But a couple twists so far with that missed penalty kick, some early fouls and opportunities for both teams. Now it'll be up to San Diego to score in front of the locals and try to come away with all three. Dom Moose with a great opportunity. Conway is there, and he misses just wide. San Diego wasted no time in the second half looking for that first chance. Loyal do love to score in front of their supporters. That's a missed chance right there. It's a lovely little bending ball into Damus, who does well to keep that alive in Conway. Just wide there. You got to hit that low back post. See Damus there is able to keep that alive for Conway. Replay brought to you by IBEW 569, the Electricians Union. Mosho Bond. Now Elijah Martin will be asked to track it down. Couldn't quite get there. Tulsa with an opportunity. Into the box here on the near side. And blocked initially by Stoneman. Good work from Stoneman. Get back, get in position for that. Tulsa still with it. Bodily trying to head it away. Looks like we have an injury. With FC Tulsa. That is Marcus Epps. We have called his name quite a bit so far in this one. He was very active in the opening 45. Picking up a knock here in the second half. Take another look at it. A battle with Bodily. Got twisted up. Yeah, he grabs that left knee. He's a player that was able to get rest on Wednesday for Tulsa. You can see that he's got the fresh legs out there tonight for them. It looks like he's gonna try to walk it off. Keep an eye on that, because he is a player that has the speed and pace to get in behind. We'll see if he's able to still do that with a little shake up there. And there's definitely an injury that will grab Tulsa's attention. It's also something that will grab San Diego's attention to see how it plays out. Yeah, and Epps has two goals on the season for Tulsa, similar to DaCosta. So they definitely don't want to see him going down. He's been a playmaker for him. Mosho Bon finds Conway. Back to Toomey. Looking for Charlie Adams, but a little bit too much power on that one. Penalty kicks were a little bit part of the story for SD Loyal a year ago. Not a happy story. Struggled only five out of 10 made in 2022. Something they definitely wanna, wanted to improve on did this season. Moon found Conway and now Adams. Adams will let it fly. And it goes wide to the right. It's a bit of an ambitious shot there, especially you got bodily out to the left. The good opportunities for Loyal are coming when they get the ball wide and get around the backside. Can't fault them for trying. I think the better option out there was Bonnelly. SD Loyal gonna hit the road for its next USL Championship match on Saturday, April 15th, 6 p.m. against New Mexico United. That's the next match for SD Loyal. It's a pretty tough stretch coming up for San Diego. 
at New Mexico, home to Tampa Bay, and then on the road against the Seattle Sounders. Dom Moose finds Moon. Moon with space. Nick Moon has it blocked, and a corner coming for San Diego. And that's where Loyal have been so dangerous. It's on those change in the point of attack, finding Moon, finding Bodily. Get another look at it here. We've seen opportunities. We're still waiting for that first moment where someone can put it away. Yeah, that comes from Demoose. Moon in the box. He's just not a clear shot on goal because, as we've mentioned, Tulsa are so organized defensively. There's four white jerseys in front of him. Charlie wants to get this past the near post, at least give his team a chance to crash in on this. This corner kick presented by San Diego Community Power. Adams in low, and it was able to get all the way through the box. Eventually, Stoneman was there. Now Bodily's having it rattle around. He'll throw it in. in and headed away. San Diego applying pressure once again, and this one did not go out. It stays in play. So Moon had to track it down, and he was able to get there. Adams to Colin Martin. Now Elijah Martin. Here's Stoneman. Now we mentioned the, the names that we see quite a bit for SD Loyals. This one's given away in a bad spot. The experience, and this one rolls out, the experience San Diego has. And we've, we see it with the lineup today, guys like Elijah M Martin, Grant Stoneman, and others. Uh, there are still some pretty big names who aren't starting for San Diego today. Some pretty big names who are on the bench and not even available on the bench as well. Yeah, and again, it's that depth that Loyal have and the confidence in the bench. Corona's on the bench right now. Guido's unavailable for selection. You've got Adrian Perez. A lot of depth, a lot of experience, as well as a lot of young players making their mark on this team. Adrian Perez, one of the players that is still introducing himself to loyal supporters. This is his first season in San Diego, but his match during the week Wednesday against Albion, that was an eye-opener, I think, for a lot of supporters. Uh, for at least the fans that were able to show up, obviously that one not televised, but for the people that did show up to SDSU earlier this week to watch that match, uh, Perez was definitely someone you were talking about afterwards. And they saw that all through the preseason games too. His work rate is second to none. He just works his tail off trying to create something. And it's going to be a great spark for this team coming off the bench, potentially today. Yeah, we may see him today. Started his career in MASL. Joined LAFC before going to DC United. Had his season cut short at DC United a year ago after just three games, suffered a foot injury and had to miss the rest of the year. And then in the off season, he signed with SD Loyal. We're starting to see more and more. Might see him today. Here's Ronaldo Damus. A touch from Tulsa. Charlie Adams was trying to come in, but couldn't quite get there in time. Loyal asking more questions. Headed away. Martin. And Elijah Martin slides back. DaCosta wanted it quickly for Tulsa. He didn't get it. SD Loyal wearing their Tory Green white shorts. FC Tulsa, white tops, white shorts. I like FC Tulsa's look. The white and gold, I think, is a really good look. But as a broadcaster, I can tell you that light blue on the back for the numbers doesn't do anyone favors up in the booth. Definitely not. Not on a white jersey. But I do think these are two of the best looking kits in the league. It's just sometimes it's tough to pick up the number from, from Tulsa's side. Two very good brands of soccer. Honestly, expecting to see some goals by now. I'm surprised we're scoreless into the 55th minute. And I think even the players might be surprised based on what has happened so far on the field as well.
Martin finds Kyle Adams, who gives it to Stoneman. Now Elijah Martin. Nick Moon, who I want to call Luna every time that he gets the ball. There is a section of supporters here at Torero Stadium that like to yell out Luna every time Nick Moon touches the ball. He's definitely a fan favorite because when he gets that ball in that final third, more often than not, Nick Moon's going to have some flashes of brilliance and create something. The player that Loyal are happy to have back and healthy after going down with a knee injury last year. Uh, fans plenty of reasons to celebrate out there. He does have those moments. Whipped in. Stoneman did a good job to get the left foot down and to clear it away. Vegas was there as well, but still a dangerous pass. And Dyer was right there as well. Conway able to get a foot to it. Finds Dom Moose. Dom Moose will try to tap it into Conway. But nothing doing. Again, with his outside of his right foot, DeMoose is trying to bend that into Conway's path, but unfortunately didn't get enough spin on it. It's an easy pickup by Nelson, but I like that, that look from DeMoose. It's a dangerous ball. Miami FC going to take on reigning Eastern Conference winners, Louisville City FC. Don't miss the start of the new season of the USL on ESPN. Saturday, May 13th, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. That is Miami FC taking on Louisville City. Flag is up. Players go down. Nick Moon was trying to create some magic here on the near side, looking to create that space. Drew contact. And both Moon and Levi's slow to get up. There's nothing intentional there. Moon's trying to beat him full speed. Levi's does well defending it, and they just get caught and tangled up. Nothing malicious there, but that does hurt. Great defending by Levi's. Good work from Tulsa to keep possession across the mid to Costa now with it. feeling a little bit better after going down a few moments ago. Levi's near side. Back to Levi's. He goes down, but no whistle against San Diego. So DaCosta into the 59th minute now, still in the game, has reached 10,000 USL minutes. Congratulations to Rodrigo DaCosta. FC Tulsa's all-time leading scorer. No one has set up more assists either. And now to 10,000 career minutes at the USL level. It's impressive. That's a great achievement. And from what we've seen tonight, they are hard-earned minutes too. Yellow's going to come out for this, Coke Vegas. Ready to go, ready to clear it out. And Moses Dyer got in the way of it. First yellow card of the day. First card of the day. We've heard a lot of whistles today, a lot of fouls, but that is the first card. Yeah, more often than not, you, you see too much of the referee, you hear too much of the referee, so credit to him for letting the guys play hard. It's been fair, it's been even on both sides. And that's an easy yellow for him.
Not someone who's picked up a ton of yellows for Tulsa this year. Corrales does have four yellow cards in five matches so far this season. He wasn't in on that play. Colin Fernandez, three yellows in his four starts as well. Near side for Tulsa. For that opening goal, looking to take a lead, looking for space, and Koke Vegas gets the save, diving to his left. Speaking of those yellow cards, SD Loyal this year, 10 different players with a yellow card so far in 2023. When you've already played your rival Phoenix twice, that's to be expected. That tends to happen. That tends to happen. Shoban. You can't say it enough, the confidence that Loyal have in Koke Vegas and his feet. Card might be coming out here. It is another yellow card. Well, we're just talking about how we haven't seen many of them. Now we've seen two in two minutes. Yeah, we haven't seen many, but the ref's been good about pointing out. He's counting. And this is a good one here. Demoose does well to turn with it. Gets hit in the back a little bit. Corrales is going to plead his case. But you see him come in there. The ball's gone when he makes contact. And Demoose, a little extra flair to make sure the ref sees it. That will be Corrales' fifth yellow card in his sixth match, which means missing some time. Header, Stoneman missed opportunity for San Diego. It was very close and it was just rolling around. It's a beautiful save by Nelson. Nick Moon almost had a look at that. You could see his frustration. I think he got a little bit surprised. Give it another look. Adams did a good job to get it in. What a great header by Stoneman. Moose had a chance. Nice clear by Nelson to keep the clean sheet for his team. Feels like San Diego has missed a few layups today. Now whipped in. Loyal will not miss that one. Evan Conway puts Loyal up one. San Diego keeps attacking and attacking. Eventually they break through. Evan Conway, his 11th goal all time for San Diego as he continues to climb the list. The beauty of this is the captain, Charlie Adams with the assist. You could see by his reaction, he couldn't be more happy after missing the PK early, he whips this ball in. It's bending away from Nelson, who's frozen on his line. Conway going to the ground, still gets something on this, but what a beautiful ball, freezes the keeper. Conway, sliding, diving header. What a way to make your exit as he's now subbed out. And Elliot Collier comes in. You can feel the sigh of relief from Charlie Adams though. Charlie Adams is the all-time leader in assists in SD Loyal history. He adds another, another assist, number 14 in his career. Evan Conway gets the goal, his 11th in his career for San Diego, and Loyal take a 1-0 lead here now in the 64th minute. A couple subs during all of that. Perez, who we were just talking about, he impressed midweek and has done so in the preseason, one of the subs coming on. Oh, you're coming on as well. Tulsa looking to draw it level. And they do. The flag stays down. And we are tied up at once as FC Tulsa's Rodrigo da Costa scores in the 65th minute. Credit Tulsa with their response to Costa. We haven't said his name that much, but we mentioned he just needs a look. Ball's played in. Miss, oh, 
Adams not quite able to clear that because he has a player run across him and DaCosta wide open on that back post. That's too easy for him. Leaves no doubt about it. Great response for Tulsa. Well, that was a layup they weren't going to miss. 1-1, one, one. it's the first goal that an away team has scored at Torero Stadium this year. Had a sub for Tulsa. Corrales is taken out, sitting on that yellow. You know, mm -hmm. always difficult as a center back to be sitting on a yellow when it's a tight battle like this. Rashi Teta is in for oh. FC Tulsa. Elijah Martin with possession. My apologies, Corrales is still out there. He came in from Alou, right back. Well, we're starting over. San Diego got to enjoy their lead for a minute or so before Tulsa able to find the back of the net. Now we're 1-1. A little bit more than 20 minutes to go in this one. We've talked about the depth of Loyal and Collier. He's another one. We haven't mentioned him yet, but he's shown a lot throughout preseason and the early games for Loyal. He's dangerous for a big man. He's so good with the ball at his feet. He'll be up top now, partnering alongside Demus. All you're one of the subs who just came in for San Diego. You're right. The very first thing you notice when you see him go on the field is his height. He stands above everyone else on the field. There he is with the ball. He finds Nick Moon. Moon to Mosho Bon. Back to Moon. Whips it in on the ground. Elijah Martin. Bond has it taken away. Goes out on Elijah Martin. Single match tickets are on sale now. Tickets start at just $15, including the next home match at Torero Stadium on Saturday, April 23rd, 3 p.m. against Tampa Bay Rowdies. Visit sdloyal.com slash tickets for more information. Levi's has it for Tulsa. Morales switches sides. No Alejandro Guido for SD Loyal today. Joe Corona on the bench. We've seen a few subs already. Kate Miller going with Perez. And Collier, there's FC Tulsa. They're looking to take the lead. Perez there. And a good look, but it goes wide. Looks like the flag went up either way. And right now you can feel like the wind's been taken out of the sails of Loyal after that quick response by Tulsa. They've got to regroup, stick to the game plan. Still plenty of time out here. Long way to go in this one. goes down. Looks like he's cramping out there. A little 
slow to get up is Charlie Adams. Elijah Martin. That's Ronaldo Damus before he goes back to Stoneman. Damus goes with Ronaldo on the back of his kit. Goes with the first name. Here's Nick Moon. Good move from Moon. Has Mosho Bond to his right, passes it off. Toomey with it. Has Martin. Instead, slots it back to Moon. He made a good run, but his pass was deflected. And another corner coming. Corner kick coming up, presented by San Diego Community Power. San Diego preparing a couple subs. We do see Joe Corona off the bench. Here comes the corner in, out to Elijah Martin. Now Adams. Adams looking for another assist. Perez. Kyle Adams now, deflected, and another corner coming. Camden Riley looks like he'll join the festivities. Alongside Joe Corona, a couple subs coming for SD Loyal. Substitutions brought to you by Coralejo Tequila. Joe Corona in for Tumi Moshoban. Camden Riley comes in for the captain, Charlie Adams. Nice round of applause for Charlie Adams as he comes off. I think Corona will slide more into the Moshe Bond role of the number 10. Riley will probably sit more defensively. A big high five between Nate Miller and Charlie Adams as he goes to the bench. His day is done. All square in the 73rd minute, but we've seen action throughout this match. I don't think anyone would be surprised if we see at least one more goal before the final whistle. Twenty-two shots. We've seen plenty of action. Joe Corona getting his first action. And he does so a little too quickly. Set. Loyal perfect at home this season. A win against Detroit City and a win against Phoenix. Now in a battle against Tulsa. Perez. Perez creating space. Riley. Riley back to Perez who slots it towards the center. And it misses just wide. More pressure from SD Loyal. And that's why that ball is so dangerous when you can bend that in. Bourgeois looking at his keeper, Nelson, saying, sorry, that almost went in for an own goal. But when you're facing your own goal and a ball's bent in with pace like that, good little passes here in Perez. You see that Bourgeois facing his own goal. That is so difficult to clear. If you're Tulsa, thankful that it's just a corner kick. Dario and Bird coming in for Tulsa. Subs. Loyal wanted to take their corner rather quickly, but they allowed the subs to be made. Corner kick brought to you by San Diego Community Power. Joe Corona takes it with Adams on the bench. And the shot over the bar from Moon. That's a nice corner because it goes to the back post, gives him a chance. Kyle Adams keeps it alive. Nick Moon gets a decent look. But he's leaning back a little bit, so he gets under the ball. It goes over the crossbar. 
Never underestimate the journey of a champion. Because most champions are seldom celebrated. Palomar Health. Champions of healthcare. Champions for you. Into the 76th minute from Torero Stadium, a packed house today. Under the sun. I wouldn't call it a rare day game for SD Loyal, but you're more likely to be playing underneath the lights here at Torero Stadium than during the day. So that's a little bit of a treat. Whistle against Tulsa. Two good teams squaring off. FC Tulsa, second place in the East. Most goals in the league. Okay. San Diego on the other side, third place out West. And Looking very good as well. Great matchup between two teams that are very similar. They want to flood the channels with their wide wing backs. That's where they create a lot of their dangerous chances. They both organized defensively. Both keepers have had phenomenal saves today. But Loyal, I think, should be in the lead by now. They've had the better of possession, the better of the looks. Also with possession. Ronaldo Damu seems to have picked up a little bit of a knock. He's staying in the game. He was pretty uncomfortable there for a stretch after taking a hit from one of the defenders. loyal players have stood out to you so far in this one. Well, obvious Koke with the save. Not much he could have done on that goal. I think Colin Martin has quietly done a really good job against Acosta in the midfield. Outside of the goal, we haven't really called his name too much. And he's someone that is typically really involved for Tulsa. And the flank play of Nick Moon and Blake Bodily. Corona looking for Damus. He was gearing up for it, but the defender able to get a touch first. It was over the head of Moon, so he'll have to slot it back to Stoneman. Whistle a little foul against Corona. Yeah, Damus thought he had a little bit more time on that one. I think he waited for the ball. He needed to attack that a bit more, allowed the defender to come in. San Diego Loyal Match Day is the ultimate setting for your next group outing, whether you're entertaining clients, hosting company outings, or gathering with friends and family. Nothing like experiencing an SD Loyal Match Day at Torero Stadium with your group. Group tickets start at just $10 per ticket. Make your SD Loyal outing memorable. Unlock unique fan experiences, post-match penalty kicks, photos on the field, and pre-game and halftime high-five tunnels. For more information, visit sdloyal.com tickets. It's also with possession, looking for the lead. Into the box they go, Stoneman steps up and clears it. Don Moose was fighting for position. Loyal want a whistle. They're not getting it. Good pass from DaCosta. Collier. As Perez to his left, Corona to his right, Damus down the center. Perez to Collier. San Diego come away with nothing. They're creating, it's just that final touch. Yeah, and that was a great break for Loyal. It was all the fresh legs they put out there. Not able to capitalize on it. Collier, well defended, so he plays it wide to Perez, who comes back to him. But again, sliding save there for Tulsa. I think if he tried to drive that across, he had Corona in there, he had Damus. And 
And Tulsa almost on a fast break, but Stoneman fouls DaCosta, thankfully, right at the mid-stripe. It's not a bad idea coming back. Like, you, you do have to give credit to the defender for sliding in, getting a touch. But we've already seen one goal for SD Loyal with the pass just sliding it across the face of the net. You, you've seen it work before. You kind of want to see it again. Yeah, it's the most dangerous ball. You ask any defender, any keeper, that bending ball whipped in behind. The keeper gets frozen. Defenders are facing their own goal. But half a second difference there, and Collier's tapping that in. It's well defended by Tulsa. Introducing the official San Diego Loyal SC podcast, Always Loyal. The Always Loyal podcast tells the story of San Diego Loyal SC by providing breaking news, inside access, interviews, discussion, and analysis. New episodes are published every Wednesday. The Always Loyal podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and wherever you listen to your podcast, subscribe, rate, and download today. I think Darren Smith is the best host on that podcast. That's a tough call. It's, he's pretty good. He does all right. He's pretty that, good. That partner guy of his is so-so at times. Like I said, Darren Smith is the best host of that podcast. He does come out every single Wednesday. Check it out. Cleared away. Elijah Martin gets it to Stoneman. Now Corona. Elijah Martin showing off that speed, just that little burst that gets him past the defender. Corona looking to take it away, Tulsa keeping possession. Good work from Martin to get a foot to it. Now Damus. But Nelson comes out and makes the sub. That's well read by Nelson. He saw Damus spin off knowing he was going over, but Nelson had read it as well, was able to come out, snag that easily. End to end there. Vegas rolls it to Martin. What you love to see is some teams on the road, they're happy with the tie. They bunker in, they want to just kind of get out of town with the point, but Tulsa, they're still playing. Both teams still going and pushing for the full three points. You love to see that competitiveness. Good pass, and now a great opportunity for Tulsa. Pushing in, here's Epps. With a little bit of space, but his shot goes well over the net. That's DaCosta with the lovely little through ball to find Bird. Stoneman a little slow to get up. By the, you can buy the newest SD Loyal gear, including kits, the Charlie collection, and some unique designs you can't find anywhere else at the SD Loyal shop. Shop online today at the shop.sdloyal.com or visit the shop in Mission Valley. Corona. Back to Martin. Good work for Martin. Martin's feeling it. Stoneman. That's what you love about this loyal crowd. They are soccer fans. They're applauding the beautiful individuality there of Elijah Martin dancing on that ball. Colin Martin. Another great look for San Diego as it rolled right across the face of the net, but no one there to slam it home. A little miscommunication from Tulsa finds Camden Riley. You see here another ball from Colin Martin. What a pass. Slips through. Camden plays it so perfectly across. Moose is just a step behind. What a great look there for Loyal. to the 85th minute, tied up at ones. I 
think most projections before the season had San Diego right around where they are now, near the top in the West, a solid team, both offensively and defensively. But if you looked at those projections before the season, they weren't exactly quite as high on FC Tulsa. I think it's a club that's surprising a lot of people across the league, at least early on this season. Yeah, they had so much turnover in the offseason, but you've got a coach like Blair Gavin who knows the game, has them bought into the the plan. They're playing well. There's Moon right to the red shirt. He wanted to bend that a little bit more. You can tell it just came off his foot, not as sweet as he would have liked. The moose was coming in and crashing the box. But to your point, Blair Gavin, he's worked with the likes of Phoenix Rising. He knows the game. He's got a great staff around him. And you can tell Tulsa's not happy with the tie right now. They're still playing hard and looking for the win. Here's Epps. Looking to help create the lead for Tulsa. Perez comes away with it. Yeah, you mentioned Blair Gavin time with Phoenix Rising, also an assistant with Columbus Crew. FC Tulsa's head coach left for the U.S. Soccer's under-16 team, created a vacancy. And last August, they announced that it would be Blair Gavin who would take over in 2023. And he's off to a very nice start. Looking to give the home fans something to celebrate here in the final minutes of the match. If they found the back of the net, this place would erupt. Moon. Perez was making a run. It was a good idea, but the defense was there. Hampton Riley takes it away. Finds Joe Corona. Collier is there, and he blasts it wide to the right. He had a good look at it, just off target. And this is where a game like Phoenix rising on the road, Loyal scoring late to come back. They know they can still score. They're going to keep pressing as well. Camden Riley here does well to pick that ball. Finds Corona, who has a heavy touch, but Collier, first time with his left foot. That's a great strike. Just he, wide. He let it fly, no doubt about that. Made solid contact on it. No whistle. Now the whistle comes. DaCosta not happy. He jumps up quickly. Corona looking for an explanation as well. DaCosta saying, why did it take you so long? It seemed as if there would be a whistle. It would have been earlier. I was yeah. kind of surprised at the timing of it. Yeah, and Corona saying, if you didn't blow it then, why are you blowing it now? I think the most physical part of that was the initial challenge. Yeah. It was later that resulted in the whistle. Here's Moon, heads it forward, but it finds Tulsa. DaCosta. You guys had it. I'll watch it roll out. Just about a minute to go before we roll into injury time here at Torero Stadium. It's also with a chance. Stoneman there. Martin goes down hard.
Flag stays down. Pass towards the center. A great look for Tulsa, but that one sent way over the bar. That's Suarez from Bird. Suarez just gets under that, sends it over for no trouble for Loyal. So we get four added minutes. Can San Diego capture a goal in the final four? Or will Tulsa find an opportunity potentially? Levi's. And take it away, Colin Martin, who quickly finds Perez. Joe Corona wide open on the near side. Perez saw him and sends it to him. Corona. Riley looking for Collier. He was battling for position, couldn't quite get there. Elijah Martin steps forward, but Tulsa come away with it. DaCosta. DaCosta pushing forward, has space. Flag goes up, offside is the call. Coke Vegas made the save either way. And now the decision of cramps happening. That will slow things down. Okay, Vegas will go over and help speed up the process. The crowd reacting, thinking this is a little bit of gamesmanship trying to kill the clock off. minutes left. Boyle will look to create some magic. San Diego's only loss this year came at Sacramento. They have wins against Phoenix and Detroit City, a draw against Phoenix on the road. They won earlier this week in the Open Cup against Albion. And currently tied against Tulsa, all level here. Into injury time. So they're looking to stay unbeaten at home. But this would be the first draw of the season at Torero. Corona looks over to his head coach, Nate Miller. Corona. Collier got ahead to it. Martin is there. Stoneman now. Moon has space. Moon on the near side. Headed into their own net, and San Diego will take the lead in injury time. San Diego two, Tulsa one. A heartbreaker for Tulsa. And Torero Stadium is celebrating. Ouch. You see the teammates picking up Fernandez, but we've said it all game long. That bending ball behind the defense when it's so difficult to defend. His teammates trying to pick him up. Let's get another this. look at it. Yeah, kept alive here. Stoneman finds Moon, who has been magic in trouble all game long. Big bending ball. Fernandez just not able to get his body around. This game can be cruel. It can be evil. It might be the best finish of the game. Best finish of the game, without a doubt. Nothing Nelson could do on that one. It happened so quick. Not exactly how San Diego drew it up, but they'll take it. Still got to see this out. Tulsa had the response after their first goal. Tulsa were able to immediately respond after San Diego's opening goal. They're going to have to do the same if they're going to go home with a point. 
couple hours to fly home, and after that one, it's going to feel a little bit longer, potentially. It definitely will hurt, but when it's such a battle like this, it's going to take a mistake, unfortunately. There it is, the final whistle. We've gone full from Torero. San Diego Loyal get a 2-1 win as FC Tulsa comes to town and will come away with no points thanks to a heartbreaking own goal in injury time. Two really good teams battling it out today, and the difference was a goal that will really stand out for a lot of reasons. It was a great finish, clearly not the finish he was looking for. He was looking to clear it. Instead, it went into the corner of the net, and the locals were able to celebrate because of it. Yeah, it's such a well-matched game, too. Very similar like-minded teams and tactics and positioning. But when it's that close, this game can be evil. It does come down to which team's going to make the mistake, which team's going to capitalize on that. Both keepers had some big saves. Unfortunate for Tulsa because they played a lot better than that result. Tonight's assist of the match. Assist of the game, we go to Charlie Adams. The assist of the match brought to you by Lucia Capital. When you're reaching for your financial planning and investing goals, Lucia Capital Group is there to assist you every step of the way. Lucia Capital Group, wealth management and investing service for all loyal San Diegans. Go to LuciaLoyal.com and get started today. Charlie Adams with the assist. That's our captain bending ball right behind the defense, a sliding Conway able to put that away. Beautiful cross from captain Charlie Adams. The final from Torero Stadium, San Diego 2. Tulsa 1 will come back to Torero Stadium. We'll bring you the man of the match after this. Never underestimate the journey of a champion. Because most champions are seldom celebrated. Palomar Health, champions of healthcare, champions for you. yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Sick. Whoa. Oh yeah. Did you know that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care? A two year or 25,000 mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Back at Torero Stadium where the celebration is on. The locals having a great time. The Loyal, well, they're coming away with all three points. SD Loyal, SC2, FC Tulsa 1, an injury time goal. That was the difference. It was a wild one. And really, to have a winner, it was a little tough for FC Tulsa not to come away with any points. Definitely a really well-matched game against two very like-minded teams, but in fairness, Loyal did outpossess, have the better of the looks, I think deserve the full three points. Soccer can be cruel. Sometimes you gotta take the points any way you can get them, even if it's an own goal like that at the end. Let's go back and look at the highlights from the previous 90 minutes. How did we get here? How did we get to two to one? Well, there was a lot of action. Charlie Adams was involved early on. We saw moments where it looked like both sides really could be the first one to jump on the scoreboard first. Uh, Charlie Adams setting up that opportunity uh, a couple times. And of course, the penalty kick that he had. There were players all over. The man of the match, though, Shannon, is Evan Conway. Today's Palomar Health man of the match, Evan Conway, as there he is doing the We Are 
San Diego chant with the locals and the rest of the fans here inside Torero Stadium. So the celebration is on. Let's look back at those highlights, Shannon. Charlie Adams actually starts this play with a great change in point of attack. Nick Moon off his chest into the box. There's nothing could be done there. He gets fouled for the PK. That's by Levi's coming off of his team of the week performance. And Charlie Adams, I think he sees the keeper going the way he was going, tries to adjust, or he's just straight up trying to be too cheeky. But either way, you've got to bury that when you have a chance to step up and take a PK for your team. Even if he sees the keeper going, I think open up inside of your left foot, find that opposite post. But it looked like he was ready to celebrate that, so I think he was trying to be cheeky. He hit the bar pretty square as well. Sometimes those could sneak in still, but that one, that one went right back. A little bit later on, second half, Loyal. And he responds. Find their first. The captain, great bending ball in the perfect spot that freezes Nelson. Conway sliding in, part of what earns a man of the match honors. Willing to do whatever it takes that comes off his face, I believe. But Tulsa, they're quick to respond. We hadn't said much of his name at this point to Costa. Ball gets through. Two minutes later, takes it off his chest. Easy little tap in for him. This is why he's special. Quiet for most of the game, but you've got to be eyes on him the entire time. Punishes Loyal, ties it back up. Then late in the game, again, this dangerous bending ball, Nick Moon. Whips it in. Fernandez not able to really come around. It's actually a beautiful goal. Just unfortunately on his own keeper. Nelson's frozen, nothing he can do. Like we said, soccer can be a cruel, cruel game. Loyal's been on the opposite ends of some results like that that hurt. But this could be a huge two points that Loyal need as it comes down to the stretch in the end of season. Yeah, it seems easy to say, but put the ball in a dangerous position and good things can potentially happen. And that's exactly what happened there at the end of the match. Two goals to one, the difference. Loyal get the win, all three points. 15 shots, 11 for Tulsa. These are two teams that came in looking to score. We saw two good offenses. We saw three shots on target from both sides. San Diego winning the possession battle. Uh, a couple of yellow cards for Tulsa, none for, for SD, but we did hear the whistle quite often today. It was physical at times, and Coke Vegas I thought was really, really good. Without him today, this one still could have finished with a tie. So Coke Vegas continues to impress San Diego. They stay perfect here at Torero Stadium. Three matches, three wins, all nine points. They love playing here in San Diego. They get the win today. There was drama, no doubt about it, but they get all three points. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back very soon. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship.